world is filled with chemicals. They're all around us. And yet many times we don't really see what's going on. One of the people who was able to explain chemistry to ordinary people was Michael Faraday who lectured at the Royal Institution in the middle of the 19th century. Now Michael Faraday was never even able to go to high school. He was apprenticed as a bookmaker and a book binder but eventually he ended up as Humphrey Davy's assistant at the Royal Institution. Humphrey Davy not only taught him chemistry, but he was a good example of what a great lecture was about. Faraday learned all his lessons from Davy and added a lot more and was the most popular lecturer in England in the 19th century. Now one of his most famous lectures was the so-called chemical history of a candle which was a juvenile lecture offered at Christmas time to the children of London. One of the most remarkable things about this series of lectures was that everybody knew what a candle was but almost nobody really understood what they saw. For example, they saw a flame which was not uniformly bright. There was a dark spot in the flame. There were bright spots of the flame. And in fact, Faraday was able to show that there were very interesting flow patterns of the air around the flame. For without air, candles immediately go out. And so he was able to demonstrate for his audience, for example, this flow pattern of an actual candle. Faraday was a master of demonstrating actual things. Some of the other things that Faraday did, he's the person who discovered electromagnetic induction, the basis of all the power generation uh, that we use today. He's the father of electrochemistry. Uh, he discovered how it is that molecules change and how elements change uh, under electric field. The fact that we have metals like aluminum are due to the fact that Faraday discovered that they could be produced by electricity under the right circumstances. So he was one of the great scientists of the 19th century, but even more he was one of the great explainers of chemistry in terms that everyone could understand and who could open their eyes to the chemistry around them. When Faraday explained things, people saw the world, the same world, in a very different way because their eyes were chemically opened to the beauty around them.